Have you heard about situationships? How do we attract the right kind of partner? That looks like a wrong question to the wrong person. <laughs> how much spirituality is too much spirituality? Tell me how much love is too much love for you? I had a lot of repressed sexual energy inside me. Relationship should not be based on use and throw. Do you follow a skincare routine? Breathing, meditation, keep your mood high. Please put your hands together and welcome in under 25 style, Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. Thank you Gurudev for joining us. Please have a seat. Gurudev, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. You make me so, so, so calm when I'm sitting next to you. I just feel this, this, this innate joy, this innate peace, the, the peace of a child that I am going to hang out with and play with for the next uh, few minutes. And thank you so much for everything, everything that you do and for the time that we're spending together. I would really love for everyone in our community to meet you. So, welcome to the Under 25 Summit. And can we please give Gurudev a loud, massive Under 25 welcome. You know, when I, st I started the Art of Living, I was under 25 too. And look at the movement you've created, Gurudev. I, in fact, at that point, I want to ask you, what were you like as a student in college? Naughty. Naughty? Are you all naughty? You've got to be mischievous. Not everybody is saying yes. How mischievous were you, Gurudev? Oh, you know, mis being mischievous is mischievous. That's all. There is no degree. <laughs> but one thing, um, my mischief will not hurt anybody. It will not make anybody unhappy. Gurudev, you've not at cost of someone else. It's not offensive. It's not in uh, against anybody. And I, I, I think what I want to bring to the Under 25 Summit in this conversation, Gurudev, is, is over the last year, I have wanted to really understand this one word called forgiveness. Because I feel like there's, there's this, you know, rage that one holds because you're unable to forgive or for forget something. How does one navigate through that rage that lives within? No, I have a question to you. Why do you forgive somebody? To find a peace, to just f love again. See, if you think you are doing a favor to others by forgiving them, you are wrong. You are not forgiving someone for, as, a, as a gift to them or as generous something to them. Your forgiveness is something that you need to help yourself. See, when you don't forgive somebody, that person occupies your mind the whole time. And you don't want to be occupied by someone whom you don't like. Absolutely. Wow. So forgive for your own peace. Forgive not because someone else is going to find the peace because of that. You're capturing that in your mind and keeping in your mind for as long as Yes. You, uh, you forgive others so that you can save your own mind and your own energy. Gurudev, I'm Ria. So my question is, how do you forgive a person who's very selfish and never asked for forgiveness in the very first place? See, some people are bent to hold on to the wrongs. Let them do it. Just leave it to the time, right? You have asked and forgiven and that's it, you move on, okay? Don't wait and uh, wait for their response. Have you heard about situationships, Gurudev? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so, situationships have now become a thing. But here's what I think situationships, the meaning is, Gurudev. I think it's commitment phobia and there is a fear in committing to something. Relationship should not be based on use and throw. You want to keep it. You want to be committed. Right? Isn't it? Yeah. You can't be, you can't use people like straws <laughs> and throw them. No. And uh, situationship is simply another way to say that. Yeah. Use and throw. Use and throw. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Do you all agree? Yeah? Yes. My name is Shreya. 
and my question to you is uh, how do we attract the right kind of partner into our lives like i've had uh, in my life i had experiences in which i've repeatedly uh, attracted the wrong kind of partners well looks like a wrong question to the wrong person <laughs> you know what do you expect from other person what is the concept of charm for you who is charming for you someone who is smiling someone who is joyful someone who is centered someone who is giving right you be with that energy of positivity and then you will see the right type of person will come to you you know whenever you feel you are in need desperate need of a good partner i'll tell you you end up with wrong type of people but when you are more centered and you will see many people flock towards you you have a choice to choose thank you gurudev hi gurudev my name is rishab i'm 21 years old so for the longest time i had a lot of repressed sexual energy inside me and it was until last year that i had found osho and osho basically talked about that if you want to achieve enlightenment you cannot really suppress any of your emotions so i had fully let go i had explored so many multiple partners in the last 2 years of my college life and he said that only after you've gotten through that sexual urge you achieve enlightenment in one way you know osho said this later on he asked everybody to burn the, all these books also he said burn these books because he was experimenting on all that you know when the this was before the world was uh, acquainted with hiv till then people did not know those days he said he spoke about those things and there is truth in it partial truth but then having multiple partners going in this way osho himself said later on this is not the path because it's it's going to destroy your body in many ways and it is also not good for the people whom you are with right jay gurudev uh huh my name is praful and my question to you is uh how do i let, you know kind of prevent the negative uh, energies around me from getting inside sometimes you are swamped by it and how to come out of it right not to get affected yeah this is where deep breathing meditation music all this will help you okay and just don't sit and brood over it drop it and then move ahead okay negative energy was there that will go by itself i am going to be busy moving ahead got it yeah okay thank you gurudev i just wanted to find out um do you follow a skincare routine because uh, you look ever so young and ever so graceful always that i see you your skincare must be something incredible nothing just breathing just breathing <laughs> just breathing I think I think that deserves the biggest round of applause. Breathing. We have 5 step skin care process, 8 step skin care process. Gurudev says there's one step and that's to breathe and that's the biggest gift we have. Breathing, meditation, keep your mood high. Keep your mood high. So, hey Guruji, um, I just wanted to know like how do you trust a person in this day and age where everybody seems to put up a fake mask around themselves? Let it be your parents or brothers or a classmate for instance. That is where you need meditation your intuition will tell you if your intuitive ability is strong then you know if someone is putting a fake thing it's only to please you or to you know to make friendship with you but inside they think you may not accept them you may not talk to them you, you may not understand them uh, who they are so they try to pretend uh, what they are not right that means you are not having a good communication with them so if your communication is very s- strong all the fake things will simply fall off number 1 second if others think you are fake it is their problem right you are genuine you are just presenting yourself as you are correct and anyone can change their opinion at any time so keep that hope that people can change their opinions गुरु जी मेरा नाम यशस्विनी दायमा है आई एम गोन टू ऑन थर्टी दिस ईयर इट्स बिकमिंग वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सेपरेट स्पिरिचुअलिटी फ्रॉम रिलीजन एंड ऑल्सो रिलीजन फ्रॉम पॉलिटिक्स सो इफ देर वॉज 
any sort of um, guidance or any sort of tip that you could give in terms of how do I function now? Because I would like to stop being a rebellious teenager in my head. What is spirituality? See, we are made up of both matter and spirit, right? Our body needs amino acid, protein, carbohydrates, all the stuff. But our mind needs peace, love. Our mind needs comfort, confidence, joy. Our mind needs positive energy. And that's all spirituality. Anything that uplifts a positive energy in you, that makes you connected with the universe, the beauty, joy, all this is innate in us. So, I don't see there is any one single sane human being who is not spiritual. Spirituality is part of us. Ah, you don't have to be too serious. Spirituality makes you so serious, then that is not the spirituality I advocate. It has to be a lot of fun and love, compassion and happiness. Thank you, Gurudev. Because I, I encounter, I, I mean, I run Under 25 Summit and we meet a lot of people with a lot of conflicts. You end up losing your mind. But when I look at you, you you're strangely very calm and you actively walk into conflicts to try and resolve them. Be it the FARC and the Colombian uh, government, be it uh, the Ayodhya Ram dispute, be it uh, Venezuela. Keep yourself in the youthful spirit. You know, one of the signs of the youth is never shy away from conflict, never shy away from adverse comments, never bring down your own energy because someone said something. Got it? Don't expect everything to be smooth. You are, should be ready to take challenges. Are you ready to take challenges here? How many of you, how many have raised your hands? Let me see. How many can take challenges? That means you are youthful. Second is, you know, conflict is just part of life and you must embrace it. Don't, see, no conflict can put you down. Keep this confidence within yourself, then you will see, you know, you, you are able to win over one after another. This kind of conflict that we have with our, our parents and it's, it's not that, you know, I love my parents. I spend a lot of time with them uh, off late because I've, I've started feeling that connection. But growing up, there's this, there's this innate like conflict that exists. They're not from the same wavelength, they're not getting what we're right, saying. Right, right. They don't understand you. Yes, they don't understand well, you. Yeah. Why are they that way? All of that stuff. Yes. But there's no lack of love. That's unconditional love. Correct. So that's why I say, you, if you just listen to only your parents for everything, uh, you will be suffocating uh, and so you'll not be happy. When you are not happy, it's not going to make them also happy. At the same time, if you are simply rebelling, don't agree with them at all, and then also you are at loss because they are able to see beyond your immediate future. So they, are, they want the best for you, right? So you, you have to take them also. At the same time, some things you have to insist what you want to do and go in that direction. I love that. So make your own choices, insist on what you want, but also understand what your parents want in the process. Do you ever get angry? And do you snap on people? Have you ever raised your voice? And have you ever looked at your team and said, I don't know, I don't, I, I, oh, I don't know. No, come on, come on. Now you are putting at my weak point. <laughs> <laughs> How do you react? I tell you, I don't react, first of all. I do act. But you know, why do you think anger is wrong all the time? Why should you feel so guilty if you get angry? You don't need to. Anger is one of the emotions in life. Uh, it is there from you, from your childhood. Let it be, embrace it. And play with it. Come, play with it. Only th see, there are two types of anger. One anger is that you harbor in yourself, which eats you up like cancer. Yes. You must get rid of that anger. Yes. Another anger is that which you show sometime. And the anger which you show that's good anger. That's ang that anger is productive. That's productive. What is the correct way to manifest? Correct way to manifest is first clear your mind. Mind has to uh, be clear like, like in computer you have the erase button. First press the erase button. Then legibly type what you want to type. Intention, attention, then manifestation will happen.
My name is uh, Chetan. I just want to know how much spirituality is too much spirituality. Tell me how much love is too much love for you? How much happiness is too much happiness? Got it? Next question. So I wanted to ask like how one, one overcome the fear of being left alone and the fear of failure? Look back. Is this the first time you had the fear of failure? Is, is this the first time now when you are having? No. You have had in the back. So when you look back, you have been successful, right? All those, you know, 85% of your fears never come true. And those 15% of your worries, of those, you can easily do with it. You can easily manage it. Only 1% of that you will find find it little hard but this is a survey that's done 85 percent of our worries never manifest this fear you had in the past but you were never left out you moved on right so look back your own experience tells you it's it's simply lack of energy that causes fear in you do pranayam do some bhastrika meditation that's just out of the window Okay. Every person, uh, most of their life, they've gone through some trauma or the other. They've gone through something which they might not be able to come back from or just leave it behind them. So what suggestion do you give them? First of all, you have to get rid of the trauma. And the mind which is traumatic cannot get rid of the trauma by itself. Mind cannot heal itself. It's not. So what you need to do is through the breath. That is why Sudarshan Kriya will simply snap you out of that traumatic experience. That will help you. And tell anybody who has such mental trauma, just call any one teacher and sit with them and be done with it in no time. Gurudev, I remember you telling me uh, at the retreat something about how meditation is like when you shower every day, when you brush your teeth every day, how do you not find yourself to clear your mind or time to clear your mind? And I found that analogy superb because we put so much effort in our physical appearance but what we live with in our mind, we have no time to clear. Correct it, I would call it as a mental hygiene. You know you have dental hygiene, however busy you are, you brush your teeth, you take a shower and then you run. But similarly you need for your mind also something that makes it fresh. The hustling phase of my life is over. I'm growing. Even though I run the 125 Summit, there is a part of me that has gone beyond that because I can't now stay awake three nights and then function. I can't hustle the way I used to hustle. And I'm feeling like, oh my God, am I doing something wrong? Gurudev, you run something so massive, like so massive, you travel almost every other day. You're really, really, really making sure that you're still present in every moment, in every place that you are in. And you give that attention to each team member, you give that attention to all of us here. And how are you processing through so much information? What do you consume and how much sleep do you get in a day? You know, I better don't talk about it then. I don't want you to try doing it. <laughs> so for me, it has you know, lost so many decades. So it's very natural to me. Two, three hours of sleep is good enough for me and I travel everywhere and different time zones. So, what I would tell you is, you know, you need good sleep, at least six to eight hours of sleep. When you have some passion, when you have a purpose in life, nothing else matters, you know. You will find your energy from within. But still, I would say, take the time to sleep, to rest. Sleep is very important. If you can't fall asleep, do yoga nidra. Lie down, put on the app and there is yoga nidra, take your attention to different parts of the body. This will help you to fall asleep. Second, deep breathing, that will help you. A little bit of yoga will help you. And instrumental music. How many of you are law students here? Tell me. Maths, mathematics. Give a cheer, give a cheer instead. Ah, yeah. okay. okay. Especially those who have too much left brain activity like law or CA or chartered accountant, all this, you must listen to music, instrumental music. 
that will give uh, the balance in your brain between the right and left uh, hemisphere, right? So I would recommend you all uh, do meditation, little bit of breathing, that will help you to fall asleep better. Right amount of food and proper sleep can uplift your energy with, with some breathing exercise also. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gurudev. My dear friends, at the Under 25 Summit, please, please give a loud round of applause. One, one thing I say, look, this country belongs to you. You have a bright future. And so believe in this, take it from me, you have to carry this country forward and make this country and the world, you have the whole world is waiting for you. You know, the youth of this country are very brilliant and continue with full confidence and let me congratulate you for starting this wonderful... Thank you, Guru. Yeah? Thank you. Lovely. All the best to you. One more thing, if you see any sad face around you, don't pass by them. Stop by them, say hello to them, ask them what is the matter, what can I do for you. Are you with me on this? Yes. Will you all do this? And also see the people, your friends and maybe your uh, buddies in your colleges and schools, they don't get into drugs or alcoholism. Huh? And tell them, hey, come on, let's have party, let's have fun, but without drugs. What do you say? You all great? Make your life very strong and successful and I am with you all. Any worry, any time, you can pass it on to me. I want you to move on and make your parents proud, proud and the country prosperous. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gurudev. My dear friends in 125, can we give Gurudev a big round of applause?